So if you're a guitarist, there's probably been a point in your life where you stopped getting better and you thought, hey, maybe I should get a guitar teacher. And that's an interesting thought because on one hand, a good guitar teacher can be a really good motivator, even if it's just by having guitar lessons scheduled because you don't want to show up to it unprepared. You know, kind of like when you have the dentist tomorrow, so you floss like 30 times. So then when he asks, have you been flossing daily? You can say, well, on average, uh, yeah. But also, a good guitar teacher can notice weaknesses and strengths in your playing that you might not notice yourself, and then they can also give you good exercises to foster your growth. A good guitar teacher can be really good, but the problem is, not all guitar teachers are good. Some of them are like Keith, who lives down the street and plays in a death metal band, and your mom's friends with his mom, and your mom's like, oh, you want to learn guitar? Why don't you get lessons with him? And then you go over for a lesson and come out half an hour later, like, your guitar's scary. But the thing is, Keith's not even necessarily a bad guitar teacher. If you're in a death metal, you can be the best guitar teacher there is. And that's what's important if you're finding a guitar teacher. Like if you want to learn how to play classical, then maybe Meredith from the Academy Institute would be a good fit for you. Or maybe you just want to learn how to play more casually, and then you wouldn't even need a teacher. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, there are a lot of things that an in-person guitar teacher can give you that the internet and books can't. But also, not all those things are good. So should you get a guitar teacher? I don't know.